Based on their values, numbers can be compared to determine if they are equal, less than, or greater than one another. The mathematical symbols for less than, for larger than, and for equal to are used to compare numbers. Let us compare these numbers. Just keep these two words in mind when comparing numbers. The first is count and the second one is compare. Firstly, count the number of digits present in each number. How many digits in the first number? How about the second number? Yes, they both have the same number of digits. Kids, when two numbers are compared, the larger number is the one with more digits. But since they have the same number of digits, the next thing to do is to compare each digit from left to right. The first digit of each number is 2. Kids, if they have the same number of digits, proceed by comparing the second digit of the two numbers. What are the numbers in the second digit? Yes, we have 4 and 5. Kids, put this in your mind. Stop comparing when the digits are different. Which of these two digits is greater? given that 4 and 5 are different. Yes, that's right. 5 is greater than 4. 4 is lesser number comparing to 5. In this case, if you compare these two numbers, you will see that 245,202 is less than 254,291 because 4 is a smaller number than 5. How about these two numbers? Which is the bigger number? Why? Very good! This number has 6 digits while this number has 5 digits. Again, when two numbers are compared, the, la the larger number is the one with more digits. So we don't need to compare each digit this time. What is the symbol we're going to compare these numbers? Yes, we use greater than because 115,936 is greater than 82,776. But what if the numbers are like this? What symbol are you going to use? Very good. We use equal to. When we say equal to, the two numbers are e exactly the same. Okay? Kids, let's have a bit of a review about place value because this is very important to make the lesson today easier. Large numbers are arranged in groups of three called periods. These are the ones period where we can find the place value. Ones, tens, and hundreds. This is a thousands period where we can see the place value thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And we have also the millions period wherein we can find here the place value millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. See this example. We can use comma or space separate the numbers into groups of three so we will group them by three digits 
from right to left. How many periods are there in this number? Yes, we have two periods. The ones period and the thousands period. This one has two periods and this has three periods. The ones period, thousands period and millions period. So that's it. We will proceed now to our lesson which is ordering numbers or arranging numbers up to 1 million. Numbers can be arranged in two ways. We have the greatest to least or descending and least to, to largest or greatest or we call this ascending. Let's arrange these numbers from least to greatest. Kids, when ordering numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least, it is important to count how many periods are there in each number. Again, for this lesson, we will arrange numbers up to 1 million. And 1 million has 3 periods. If the group of numbers has the same number of periods, we will then compare the numbers in the last period. See this example. Let's arrange or let's arrange this or order this from least to greatest or in ascending order. Count first how many periods are there in each number. Okay, so all the numbers except 1 million have two periods. Since we will arrange this from least to greatest, of course, 1 million will be in the last or in the last order. So we will just put it here. Next step, next, the ne next step is to compare the remaining numbers with their last periods which is the thousands period again we will arrange this in ascending order so the least number is 41 so this number is the first in the order next is 89 so this number will be the next in order then we have 98 this will be the next in the order and then after 98 we have 500 so 500,000 will be in the in the next order next is 681 so this number comes after it is placed after 500,000 and the last number for this group with thousands period is 689,200 Of course, 1 million is in the last order So kids, this is arranged from least to greatest From this to this How about descending order from greatest to least? Same steps Count first how many periods are there in each number so let's check this group of numbers as you can see they all have two periods so let's proceed comparing their last periods which is thousands period we have 972 56 54 and 884 again we're going to arrange this from greatest to least so which number has the greatest period yes we have 972 so this number is in the first 
or is the first in the order. Next is 884. So this number is next in the order. Next we have 56. So this number 56,293 is the next number in the order. And the last one in the order is 54 or 54,274. So this number is now arranged from greatest to least. From this to this. But how about if the numbers are like this? They all have uh, two periods, but some numbers in the in the thousands period are the same. With this, since they have the same number, or they are equal in the thousands period, that's the time we will compare them in the ones period. So for example, let's do this in ascending order from least to greatest. Again, they all have two periods. We will compare then the thousands period. The list is 812. And as we can see, there are two of them that have the same number in the thousands period. In the thousands period, I mean, because of this, we will then compare their ones period. We have 931 and 993. Since we are ordering these numbers from least to greatest, the first number in the order is this. It has 931 in the ones period. Then the next number in the order is this number. So we have two remaining numbers. They also have the same number in the thousands period. So we will then proceed to ones period. We have 931 and 933. Which number is the least? Yes, 931. So this number is placed after 812,993. And then the last, of course, in the order is this number. So this number is arranged, or these numbers are arranged now from greatest to least, from this to this. Kids, you can easily arrange numbers or order numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least by counting the number of periods on each number and then compare them in their last periods. When a number is rounded off, its value is retained and it is brought closer to the next number, making it simpler. These are some basic rules that need to be followed for rounding numbers. First, you need to know what a rounding num digit is. For this lesson, we will focus on rounding numbers to the nearest 100,000. Say for example, this number, the digit in the 100,000th place is 9. This is the rounding digit. Next step is to check the digit to the right of the rounding digit. If the digit is less than 5, which is 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, we do not change the rounding digit. However, all the digits to the right of the rounding digit are changed to 0. If the digit to the right is 5 or more than 5, which is 6, 7, 8, and 9, we increase the rounding digit by 1. And all the digits to the right of the rounding digit are digit are changed to 0. The number to the right of the rounding digit is 1. Again, if the digit is less than 5, which is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 
we do not change the rounding digit we call this rounding down all the digits to the right of the rounding digits are changed to zero therefore we write nine and all the digits to the right of the rounding digit will be changed to will be changed to zero so the answer when rounded to the nearest hundred thousand is nine hundred thousand how about this number the rounding number which is in the hundred thousands place is four the digit digit next to four or the rounding digit is seven again if the digit up to the right is five or more than five which is seven or six seven eight and nine we increase the rounding digit by one we call this rounding up all the digits to the right of the rounding digit are changed to zero so we add one to five so four will become five and all the digits to the right are changed to zero 475,226 when rounded to 100,000 the answer is 500,000 what if we're going to round this number to 10,000 and 1,000 the same rules you need to check the first the rounding digit and the first digit to its right the rounding digit in the 10,000 place is 7 the next digit or the digit next to the rounding digit is 5 Again, if the digit to the right is 5 or more than 5, which is 6, 7, 8, and 9, we increase the rounding digit by 1. We call this rounding up. All the digits to the right of the rounding digit are changed to 0. So the rounding digit will become 8, and all the digit digits to the right will change to 0. Do not forget to copy the first digit. This is part of the given number. 475. 1026 when rounded to 10,000 the answer is 480,000 how about rounding off to thousands place the rounding digit that is in the thousands place is 5 what is a digit after 5 yes 0 what will happen to the rounding digit that's right we do not change the rounding digit you will copy it and all the digit to its right will become 0 write 5 then write three zeros don't forget to add 47 because it is part of the given number